Hello and uh, welcome to this uh, session. Today in this session we will uh, uh, go through uh, another, uh, we will create another assembly uh, called as, uh, we will take up uh, some of uh, the other assembly. Uh, we will take up uh, the plumber block assembly which is also known as uh, pedestal bearing which is used to support the long shafts where bush bearings are not supportive there this kind of uh, um, plumber block or pedestal bearing is uh, used to support the longer shafts. I, I will show you the schematic of this uh, assembly drawing, the sectional front view of this uh, pedestal bearing or we call it is a plumber block where the um, bearing is split into a top and a bottom portion and shaft is insert inside this and it is completely locked by the body and the upper cover by uh, these uh, bolts and this arrangement the part drawings uh, will be given to you and you can see these uh, detailed drawings and material schedule over here and uh, as we did for the screw jack the methodology is same but uh, the kind of uh, some approach uh, you will uh, it will differ by seeing the uh, diagram of the and detail of the drawing we will change our approach towards uh, this but uh, stock size taking a talks stock size and negative operation remain same for this uh, we will uh, quickly start this uh, creating uh, this uh, model uh, one by one um, i will quickly go through this uh, there are seven to eight parts in this one is body uh, which is uh, this where uh, the front view and the top views of this body has been given and the upper portion is called a cap of this uh, assembly which is this one and then uh, it is uh, the bearing bottom half and bearing top halves are shown here bearing uh, top and bottom and then uh, the nut bolts uh, are required for this and uh, finally this shaft is going to be inserted into this uh, pedestal bearing or a plumber block okay we will uh, quickly create the folder for this onto the desktop i will create the folder so plumber block assembly and then we will move on to open the software and go to solid part and now you save the file here go to summary it is the name of the body is uh, name of the part is body number one and you save this in uh, plumber block assembly as 001 and save it and uh, the material is uh, cast iron I will define the material here by choosing this material table under tools option ok that's it now look at the part drawing the number one it shows front view details in front view top view don't concentrate on only one view you will get the hint uh, the uh, look at the maximum size of the part here it is 168 millimeters and 55 mm height and in this uh, top view you will get the width of this uh, top view i will uh, feel it advantage however you can use uh, xz plane if you have uh, then you, if you choose xz plane 168 by 55 rectangle you have to create and uh, 36 uh, mm width you have to take if I draw in top view I have to create 168 by 
36 profile and give the material 55. However you wish, I will take uh, the top view itself and uh, I will uh, quickly draw the rectangle here and with the constraint command I will uh, make it symmetrical and one more thing you might have seen this part is uh, symmetric about this axis. Uh, you can create one side of the features and mirror it onto the, onto the other side which uh, saves much time in modeling this. Mm. So this one is uh, 168 by 2 and I will constrain it 168 and then this I will make it as 18 and this is 36 ok so quickly go back to the 3d environment add the material the height is 55 I will give 55 using this protrusion command and then I look at the other again look at uh, here the center portion there is a material uh, either side of the material is not there so I will take this uh, top uh, face as my sketching plane and then uh, you look at the top there is 43 mm curvilinear uh, face is there so you remove this off and uh, retain this 14 mm thickness material so this uh, 43 Radius I will choose here 43 under radius. I will type here You can just check whether it has taken yes and then uh, draw a closed uh, rectangle here and then Trim this uh, What I mean uh, I have drawn a profile here. I will remove this material and uh, one side of it I am going to remove it and you just see here I will remove this material up to the 14 mm I have to retain the 14 mm thickness here so total depth is 55 and I have to retain 14 mm from the bottom so I will give the distance 55 minus 14 okay now you can see the material has been removed. This feature, uh, select this from specification tree. Here one icon is there, mirror copy feature. So what I, since it is a symmetrical part, I will use, uh, do the features or operations on one side of it and uh, make symmetry so that it will be easy for me and I will use, uh, I will be saving the time also and I use this symmetric pen and use this mirror copy smart icon just right click on it your other feature will be come on either side of the other side of the plane okay now again look at the part drawing uh, we will try to uh, remove this uh, middle portion uh, which is a 44 rectangle and uh, below that 3 mm center there is a, a circular uh, shape in which this shape is uh, being uh, the material is removed so go to front view select exit plane as your uh, sketching plane and then draw a rectangle here always uh, use uh, a very simple uh, uh, sketches for uh, this material removal creation so that it will not give you any uh, disruptions while doing the modeling this is 12 mm and this is 44 mm then draw a circle here how much this is 38 I think uh, yes, diameter is 38.
38 and the center from the top in the center of this circle is 15 mm that is 12 plus 3 I will trim this and I will make this profile and then go back to the 3d environment take cutout option and symmetry use the symmetry option and then give 36 is the width and then you can see here okay just hide this uh, sketch look for other operations uh, there are slots at the bottom you can see this rectangle dot in dotted shown in dotted line this slot uh, followed by this uh, square uh, slot and then holes uh, you have to come from the bottom to create all these features one by one we will take it now I have to make my bottom face as the sketching plane I will use sketch and bottom face as my sketching plane and look the dimensions all around from here center it is 8 mm and on all around it is 8 mm apart uh, create a rectangle using rectangle command and take this dimension from all these edges you just give 8 mm okay now uh, go back and uh, remove the material take use cutout command and uh, how much is the depth it is 2 mm in the front view it is shown can you see it okay we will uh, remove 2 mm there is a small step here okay now I will uh, mirror this on either side since it is a symmetric feature you can see the other side also the mirror entity has come okay after that there is a square slot of uh, here you can symbol is there square 20 of 7 mm depth and it is uh, the located center of this section is located at uh, 62 mm apart from the this center line uh, center line from the center line it will be 21 i think uh, we will uh, again uh, choose this uh, rectangle slot we have created that face we have to select here okay i will uh, extract this center line and i will uh, offset this by 62 by 2 that is 31 and offset it by 10 mm either side to get 20 by 20 square however this is uh, uh, 10 mm uh, 20 mm only You can check here the dimensions it is 20 by 20 square okay now go back to the 3d environment and uh, you will be making use of this profile uh, remove the material of uh, 7 mm distance another slot is created you can uh, frequently intermittently you can check uh, whether your model is going in right direction or not other slots have been created uh, you have to have the, this habit of uh, keeping this model into wireframe entity and then um, seeing it looking at uh, different directions 
uh, in the hurry you may miss the operations for that reason i am telling uh, once this slot is also symmetric make quickly a symmetric uh, feature of this it will come on either side now after this there are holes here throughout this material there are holes in top view has given two holes 10.5 either side so take a hole option here go to hole option select this uh, slot face and now you just go to the hole options a simple hole 10.5 through all options now uh, click here location here and one more hole is here and uh, go to the smart command option this is also at the symmetry that is 31 and from this hole to um, this hole uh, it is 62 if you look at the top view it is 62 okay now go back to the 3d environments give the direction holes are drilled you check it in your uh, model uh, keeping it in wireframe now look at the other operation uh, there is a slope here uh, with the 4 mm offset you can create that take exit plane extract this uh, edge vertical edge offset it by 4 mm take this endpoint and uh, create a slope open profile itself is uh, enough to remove the material give the direction and 36 is the total width so the slope has been uh, maintained here mirror this about this uh, yz plane select this smart button now you can see the edge have been uh, created uh, with a given slope in the drawing and what else is required these donut slots are there we will create that also they are 128 mm apart uh, and uh, they are 8 mm and followed by this uh, radius is uh, given here i will uh, again go to bottom face this i will extract this center edge always have the keeping the model symmetric take 0 comma 0 origin so 128 by 2 and also take extract this edge and offset this vertical line by 4 mm the width he has given as 8 mm on either center you and uh, extend this horizontal line I will also offset this by 5 mm because the radius uh, will become tangent uh, 10 dia radius is given okay now you uh, take this profile uh, you can mirror this about this center and now you delete the un the lines which are not required 
we'll just trim these uh, top and bottom lines delete the other things go back and using this cutout option uh, throughout uh, there is no material here uh, in this drawing there is no depth as such given here a 14 mm should be the slot so this um, slot has been made here with the profile given now you make this symmetry also so all the features on left side have become uh, come on right side uh, look for the i think we have finished uh, apart from dress up features and uh, there is one hole here on the curvilinear surface uh, we cannot uh, use this software has some limitations we cannot select the curvilinear cylindrical surface the other software uh, allows that but this solid edge software we have to have a planar face for this uh, uh, I just check here. I need one more plane above this curvilinear face. Uh, I want to check this distance. How to check this? Uh, go to extend plane and go to sketcher mode. I will just uh, on the quadrant point I will draw a horizontal line and check this distance. This is uh, this is 21 mm over and above 2 mm so from here my play reference plane is here from here i will 23 mm i will put one plane here using plane options delete this uh, to check the dimension i did this so in addition to these three planes i used in the previous sessions i told you we can have uh, our own planes uh, go to parallel plane click on parallel plane from uh, this xy plane i want uh, 21 plus 2 mm i am taking because it touches the curvilinear doesn't allow me to drill that hole so 2 mm above 1 or 2 mm above you have to take so uh, here you can see in the model uh, this plane has been uh, created at the height of 23 mm now to i will go to the hole option which hole is there we have to see it is a simple hole of six dia with v bottom and 6 mm depth so i am uh, drilling from 23 height so 6 plus 2 8 i will give so that i can maintain 6 mm depth okay so go to hole options uh, select this plane or else if you are confused with uh, these planes go to this uh, specification tree plane 4 you have created select that you will you will be going into the uh, whole option sketcher mode and take it as simple it is 6 uh, just depth you give here here you can see here this is finite extent up to certain depth you have to give uh, depth is how much it is given as 6 mm 6 mm and it has v bottom edge up to this v bottom for v bottom depth it is not given so i will take this option and i will and one more uh, thing we left out here 6 mm exact we should not give because we are 2 mm above that i will give 8 mm whole depth is whole dia is 6 whole depth is 8 mm i have to view because i am 2 mm above that so now you uh, hole has been made uh, you can uh, just check it by zooming it you can see here my plane is uh, somewhere here from here it is maintained 6 mm uh, I, I hope it is uh, clear for you to how to uh, create uh, the holes on uh,
curvilinear faces or cylindrical faces okay hide this uh, plane it is not required now uh, look for any other operations which we have left here i think uh, it some radiuses are left and give this uh, radius and this edge 6 mm enter 6 enter so i think uh, we have uh, finished it so okay i think it looks perfect yeah now go to tool hide all all planes you hide it and if you want to give color make uh, take any contrast color because i get confused when uh, various uh, components come into this uh, assembly mode which are in same color sometime uh, it will uh, uh, create uh, uh, confusion otherwise if you are comfortable there is no need to give the color or something else uh, okay mm. so this is it uh, you uh, go on watching this video and uh, keep uh, practice by looking at the part drawing dimensions are very much uh, uh, as, uh, uh, important from the modeling point of view um, in the next session we will uh, create uh, the next uh, other parts okay